Hi again. Bull thigh syndrome is not uncommon in greyhounds and some other sight hound breeds. But is this something to worry about or just the way things are? Let's find out. Although it can look unsightly, bold thighs are not considered to be a health issue for sight hounds. There may be a genetic element to this, as the location of the bold patches can vary between the different breeds of dogs that are prone to it. In greyhounds, it tends to occur symmetrically on the outside of the thighs, as well as on the chest, the breastbone, and sometimes on the neck. Now, the cause is not fully understood, but it's not thought to link directly to hormonal changes or stress or overexcitement from racing, as greyhounds which grow up as pets can also be affected. I found some research published in 2019 where they found that greyhounds with bold thighs have defects in the hair structure. So there are microscopic changes to the shafts of the hair and also to the skin. And this is there as well as the loss of hair that we can see with the naked eye. They found that these dogs had different expression of the genes and proteins needed for normal healthy hair formation and that was compared to the controls in their experiment. And this means that these dogs with the bold thighs were producing weaker hairs in those areas that were more easily damaged. It tends to start in adulthood and it can be permanent, it can clear up altogether or it may be seasonal. As you can see here on Daisy, she was prone to having bold thighs, but the fur would grow back after each molt, only to be lost again over the next few months. Even though she had plenty of soft bedding, I do wonder whether her active dreams contributed towards this loss, because it is in the areas where she would have rubbed them when she was chasing rabbits in her sleep. On other dogs, such as Finley here, it's much more distinct and on parts of his hindquarters that are not going to be as much in contact with the bedding. So this is less obviously to do with his environment and we know he's well cared for, so it's not to do with that either. Now, bold thigh syndrome can be accompanied by the presence of comedones or blackheads to you and me. These form when the pores become enlarged and clogged with keratin and dead hair. It might be unsightly, but it's not a major issue unless they become infected. So you could try cleansing them with warm water and hibby scrub, a mild disinfectant. But in my experience, they do tend to just come right back. So because the pores have become enlarged, they are prone to getting clogged. Gandalf here has suffered from this the whole time he's had him, although it is better now than it was. It still looks quite a mess, but it doesn't seem to bother him, so we largely leave it alone. This dog, Billy, had quite significant comedones or blackheads on his thighs, and these looked a little strange, but again, it didn't seem to concern him. If you are bothered by this condition, a visit to your vet might offer some reassurance. So they could check their thyroid, cortisol and sex hormone levels in case there is an underlying cause for concern that you might need to do something about something that's beyond typical bold thigh syndrome. And of course, make sure that your dog's skin is free from mites, bacteria or fungus so they are overall healthy. And then it's just a case of admiring that bold bottom. So that's all for today. We'll be back again soon with more for you. Bye for now. Look out for new videos every Monday and why not subscribe so you don't miss out.